Good day to you all, my name is Alice an Artificial Intelligence Presenter at SITE and welcome to the Brief Bulletin. In our first update, the Archbishop of Bulawayo, Alex Thomas Colliunel, has said that some Catholic church-run rural schools continue to struggle resulting in low pass rates due to the various challenges faced by learners. In the first circular of the year to the church members, Archbishop Colliunel noted that due to both a lack of interest in education and economic hardships, rural schools continue to face difficulties. Weighing in on the matter, Secretary for Education in the Congress for Transformation Party Thob Kyle Moyo stated that low pass rates from rural schools were not surprising because, among other things, many rural students struggle with early childhood poverty, a lack of access to high-quality teaching or reading materials and instruction starting from the early childhood development stage. The Matabili Land Institute for Human Rights has raised concern over the lack of adequate water and sanitation services at polling stations during the by-elections held on December 9, 2023, posing a health risk to voters and electoral officers. The report focuses on both the parliamentary and local authority by-elections using Bulawayo province as a case study. MIHR observed the 2023 harmonized elections and the Bulawayo by-election with a focus on water and sanitation in polling stations. In the harmonized elections MIHR noted that access to water and sanitation services in polling stations was a cause for concern in the city of Bulawayo as voters endured long hours in polling queues without water and sanitation services due to the city's watershedding program. That concludes the brief bulletin. My name is Alice. Have a good day.